And for comparison purposes, here's a uh, typical 67 meter motor yacht. And you see here that a uh, typical European white yacht is 33 feet or 11 meters in beam. And that is a uh, huge difference in terms of the volume. The bow is narrow and so it won't support much weight. So what they do is they put a little lounge area up here, which is pretty much useless unless you're going about five knots in a calm sea puttering around the beach, not where expedition yachts are going. So in an expedition conversion of a commercial vessel, we're gonna make maximum use of this bow area. I would contend that if you're at sea and you have the urge to swim, you might just jump in the ocean instead of using this valuable stern space for a swimming pool. There's a myriad of possibilities of what you can do with the broad aft deck on these conversions. But if you still wish to have a swimming pool, you'll see that there's one here under the helipad. And the other thing I would say is that all there is a lot of deck space. That's great deck space. If you want to sunbathe all day, it's great to have that. Um, but the actual housing block, that interior space we can achieve the same interior space on the bow of our conversion again because of the beam we're not going to press that far back into the hull and if you did want to press that far back into the hull and you wanted to have uh, much more in the way of toys and much more in the way of uh, space back here uh, you just get a longer hull it's going to basically have the same engines it's gonna consume pretty much the same amount of fuel and require the same amount of crew in the longer hull because your basic ship system on the bow is gonna be the same from 220 to 240 to 260. So now I'd like to uh, jump into some new video footage that I took of offshore supply vessels in Louisiana where I went back specifically to look at the spaces and at the conversion process of these larger offshore supply vessels. And these rugged steel hulls hold up extremely well and you won't see much difference in this hull uh, when compared with a hull on a vessel that's maybe eight or 10 years old. Existing deck house can be enhanced with uh, big side decks and uh, four decks going around with larger ports and big glass. So typically you build your guest accommodations out on the main deck and then put the dining salon and the uh, different guest areas on the deck above. And then finally the owner's deck, which would be three decks up from the main deck. 